So how about this then? My very favourite airfield is in fact a farmer's field. 500 metres from my house and it's that wonderful time of year where the crop has just been cut and our local farmer has very kindly allowed me to use his field. So it's a perfect Saturday evening and it's time to go flying. Spot my younger son jumping over the fence there to take some video. I say it every year, and it's true, it is the perfect field. 380 metres diagonal into wind, minimal obstructions on approach or climb out very near my house. But it is an agricultural field, and for a chunk of the year, it is a feeding ground for beef cattle. And um, their hooves do this. That's fair enough because it's their field, not my field. But you feel it when you're taxiing, which is why we use um, maximum pre rotate for takeoff and I only fly out of this field one up. I'm happy to fly two up into the field but one up when we're on the ground for longer for uh, an outbound flight and I'm on half tanks today so the weight is really as low as it could be we're into wind. So the idea is to get the weight off the nose wheel as soon as possible and then off the mains equally as soon as possible we do that with maximum pre-rotate and being light. Thousand RPM and pre-rotator engaged. Really pulling on the brake now because we're going to need probably about 4,000 motor RPM. That's at normal, that's 3,000 motor, 200 rotor. At a point at which the wheels can no longer hold. So there's simply not enough friction for the tyres on the grass. Full power, nose wheel comes up very quickly, get the stick forward. Flying in ground effect, looking for 60 miles an hour and then climb away. So the wheels were on the ground for maybe 30 metres. You want the ground run to be as short as possible because the terrain is bumpy. Now heading towards the D Estuary. This airspace is within the Liverpool control zone, so I have to stay below 500 feet before I've established two-way communications. As I'm only a few hundred metres from zone boundary, it's simply easier to remain below 500 and head for the coast. Uh, not before a bit of fun, flying over my house, waving to the wife. This is the D estuary looking across towards the Cluidian Hills. Okay, let's go and have some fun. Even more fun.
to watch where the birds are. So there are some there. There are actually fewer birds in the middle of the channel, so we'll follow the channel for now. This is just a fantastic place to fly because there are no people, no structures, no animals, nothing. So with the 500 foot rule still applies, but I don't have to be 500 foot vertically for many of those things. I can be 500 foot horizontally or diagonally, but there's nothing out here anyway, apart from birds. Birds are the hazard and there's me avoiding one with a sharp left turn. You just have to keep a very good lookout, be prepared to react and avoid areas where they might be congregating. That tends to be particularly on the border between the sand and the water. So I try and avoid those areas unless I can see them clear, which is why at the moment I'm flying centrally down the channel. worldly landscape this one here so up until now I've been flying into wind which is what you want to do when you're low so I'm now flying downwind so my speed needs to be higher so that I can zoom climb if I were to get an engine out I'm just going to get a bit of altitude while we cross the water. This is now the main River D channel. Wind to wind again. We've got a moderate power setting. 70 miles an hour. Off and birds here, so a little bit of altitude again. Okay. Head towards Hilbert Island now. It's very shallow here, but even then the water crossings probably should have gained a little bit more altitude. I'm going near Hilbert Island and that's going to require me to climb to no less than 500 feet. So we'll do it gently. Raining outside, 
the bird sanctuary zone around Hilbra Island until I'm above 500 feet. Just check my pressure setting. 1015 That is the Great Orb Landed, though, and then we've got Snowdonia over there, you can just about make out beyond the wind farm, Anglesey. Huge wind farms all around here. It's over there, a few ships out in the bay. Old lifeboat station down at uh, uh, Hilbury Island. Oh, we're comfortably above, we're 900 feet here. Still people walking on it. We're now clear of the minimum 500 feet altitude restriction around Hilbury Island and I'm descending towards Hoylake, Red Rocks and the northern tip of the And this is my playground. I've this whole place myself, isn't this? Fantastic. Well, lucky am I. Beautiful shadows and uh, reflections in the, in the damp sand. Okay, let's uh, listen to Liverpool Oasis. Maybe on first contact, Liverpool information, India, time 1920, runway use 27, surface wind 3107 knots, visibility 10 kilometre or more, view 2400 feet, temperature plus 14, view point plus 5, QNH 1015, threshold QSE 1012, Ground movement control is closed. Acknowledge receipt of information. India and advise aircraft type on first contact. Okay, India. 1015, wind 3107. That is the DS Street. The Flint Bridge you might be able to see 12 o'clock. Connors Key Power Station, hardened beyond that. And I can see, it might not come out on the camera, but I can see Beeston Castle, Peckerton Hills. Ashcroft, my base, is just beyond Beeston Castle. It's just about the limit of uh, visibility at the moment. Liverpool Radar, good evening. Golf Uniform India, Romeo, Oscar. Golf Uniform India, Romeo, Oscar, Liverpool Radar, good evening. Thanks Golf Uniform India, Romeo, Oscar, gyrocopter returning to a private site at Heswell on Wirral, uh, currently overhead, Hilbury Island, 1000 feet 1015, information India, uh, requesting zone entry for left down at Heswell. Golf uh, Romeo, Oscar, 5052. Um, point your altitude, number 2015. 5052, 1100 feet on 1015, Golf Romeo Oscar. Golf, three, it's one, India Romeo Oscar. First one to Liverpool Control Airspace, on track, Heswell, not above altitude, 1500 feet, severe. Clear to enter on track, Heswell, VFR, not above 1500 feet. Golf Uniform India Romeo Oscar. Golf Romeo Oscar, correct, speaking to the Control Airspace. Basic service outside, go for it. And I can see my landing site from here. The nice thing about flying uh, later on in the day is air traffic are quiet. 
No problem getting your call in, don't have to wait. No problem getting the clearance, although to be fair to Liverpool, it's rarely a problem getting the clearance. And there is my field. I wish it was my field. Oscar, enter control airspace, radar control, sir. Radar control, sir. Skull flipping, Oscar. Premier Oscar letting down at Hazel. Golf from the Oscar, Roger, the surface was at Liverpool, 280 degrees, 14. Thank you, and I'll be lifting tomorrow morning and I'll uh, talk to you then. Golf from the Oscar. Probably Oscar, thanks, good night. One thing I've really appreciated over the last couple of days is, is having the gyro so close to my house, probably half a kilometre. Um, it's just means you fly so much more. Um, Ashcott is an absolutely fantastic airfield, I love being based there. But it is at least a 45 minute drive. Uh, with traffic it can be double that. Obviously the, uh, that means that it, it's not really viable for um, evenings. But here we are at uh, half past eight. And I'm out flying. Keeping the circuit tight so that I'm always within the glide range of the field, should the engine decide to quit. Hoping I didn't scare the road traffic too much. Now adding power to hover taxi to my parking point in order to reduce the amount of time I spent taxiing on the rough ground. And there we have it. One of my favourite flights in one of my favourite places. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.